I'm going to now cover the topic of how to boost your 4G signal that you're receiving on your router. So um, the typical application here is that we have a weaker marginal 4G signal and we just want to have stronger strength either for business or for Netflix, something like that. So um, what I have here is I have a total of um, three routers here. The three leading brands in the Irish and UK market probably would be D-Link, Tenda and TP-Link. And then we have three types of areas that we could use to boost it. Now all these products are available on freetv.ie, but I said I'd just do one video just to cover the entire topic of the problem you face and the options you have for trying to resolve it here. Now in the middle I have an SMA extension cable as well, we'll just discuss that. And I'm going to go into a little bit, bit of detail about SMA connections, whether they're male, female, male or RP connections. Because it's a little bit complicated. So basically, um, what the aerials have in common here is um, that they all are MIMO aerials. So what we're trying to do is, we have actually two aerials integrated into one. And if you actually look carefully on uh, the, the thing here, you'll see that there's two cables coming off it. Both terminate in uh, SMA uh, male connections here. So let's just see the little pin in the center. And if you want to just use this opportunity to focus directly in on it here. So um, in terms of strength, the strongest one is probably uh, the one that I have here, uh, but it's quite industrial looking. Now, one of our suppliers has actually specialized in producing a much neater kit, which is this one here, that'll do exactly the same in a panel type format. Um, normally these cables will come with normally five meters, although sometimes you can actually get these areas that come with 10 meters, but five meters would be the norm. And then there's a much smaller one here, it's much cheaper. We bring this directly from China ourselves and we just stick this on a window. There's little pads that come out and it attaches just on a window and you just pull the signal directly in there. So there's three different ways and each of them have different results. Basically the two larger ones would give roughly equal results and um, the smaller one is a lot cheaper, a lot neater, and it doesn't boost nearly as well, but still it can be quite effective, right? So if we actually took the aerial, I'm just going to use this particular example here, simply because it's easier to work with. So this is like the first aerial that we focus in on. This is an SMA male connection, and we have a router here with no paddles on the back. And what I would do is I would just grab this, and I would just screw it directly in here, and if it screws in, super, we just connect it one side. There's no right or left here. You can just attach it either way, so it'll work absolutely fine. And this is a built-in Nemo area in here, okay? Now, if the cable isn't quite long enough, if we need a longer cable, what we can do is we can actually come along and we can use an extension cable. And the extension cable is normally that we have are five meters long. And what you're going to be doing here is you're going to have a male uh, connection into onto a female, and that's just feeding us up with a, a similar thing. So it's female on one end, male on the other, and it screws directly in here like this, okay? So again, the longer the run of the extension cable, the higher the signal lasts along it, and that's why they generally try to limit it to a five one meter one. But if you needs to be longer, you know, it's even though it won't be ideal, it's better to have your router connected to the area than not connected. So that's why we give the option of the extension ones on it. So, this will work directly the aerial straight over to the D-Link that we sell. It will work straight over to the TP-Link that we sell as well, or to the Tender that we sell as well. Interestingly, it won't work at all with the um, TP-Link, and that's because they made a significant design mistake on one of the versions of the TP-Link that was on the market, because they made the paddles that come with it uh, fixed. So you can't screw them off and boot it to boost the thing. Now in 95% of the situations, people are probably happy enough with the results they're getting with the, with the aerial as it is. They don't want to mount an aerial outside and this is fine. But if you bought a TP-Link, um, of the, uh, I think it's a version 3 or 4, uh, and came along and found the fit signal was insufficient, you don't have the option to change out the paddles on it. Now TP-Link, interestingly, later changed the design to come along and I think they're adaptable, they're, they're detachable now, so that will work directly on them. So um, what type of um, download speeds can you expect? When we've tested this in our workshop here, I, don't know what, uh, I, I never actually really checked where we were to our local transmitter, but we certainly know we're further than about two kilometers away from it. And we were getting a download speed of around uh, seven or eight meg in one of our offices. And when we went and we, we used an outdoor aerial, we literally just hung out the window and connected it back in. And we did a speed test on our phone again to see it. And it actually dropped up jumped up to about 17 or 18 meg, so it more than doubled the download speed on it. 
So that was very, very effective. And that wasn't a finely tuned area or anything like that. So it, it can double your speed, so in, the, in that case, giving you about a 10 meg boost on it. Now, what complications can you face? Well, apart from coming across some um, routers that will, won't have detachable uh, uh, paddles on the back of it here, you can actually have awkward units like this, which are, um, instead of being a female type connection on it, they have a male type connection on it, which we see here, okay? And that won't work because when we go to screw it in, male won't go onto male like this, okay? So what we need to do is we actually have an adapter to go with this, and this is called an SMA female, the RP female adapter, okay? We can just screw this in here directly like that. It changes the orientation on it, and you can just change it out. So if you do come across, the connectors seem like they're gonna fit, but they don't. We actually have good, great range of different adapters on it. And again, it's a whole process of trial and error that's allowed us to find the right ones on it. So hopefully that covers the whole topic of how to boost the, the signal going to your 4G router using a, a range of different um, MIMO areas that are available directly on the Irish uh, and UK market from freetv.ie.